Hello children, how are you all? Hope you all are doing great and you are safe too. As you know, I am Shilpa, the class teacher of grade 2 and I am going to teach you science and today we are going to learn hard words and some question answers of types of plants. Now, let's begin children. Hard words of lesson 1, types of plants. Number 1 C L I M B E R S climbers 2 C R W -E, e P E R S creepers 3 B R A N C H E S branches 4 W Double O D Y Woody Five S H R U B S Shrubs Six S U Double P O R T Support Seven U P R I G H T Upright Eight K I T C H E N kitchen. Here kitchen means that is a leaf because leaf makes food for the plant and it is called a kitchen of a plant. 9 D I double F E R E N T different. Children, as you can see here, different colorful umbrellas, right? The same way you can say different types of plants, different kinds of trees, or different shapes and sizes of leaves okay 10 m i n e r a l s minerals which is found in the soil and absorbed by the roots 11 s h a p e s shapes 12 c o c o n u t coconut 13 E R E C T erect. Fourteen R I S I N G rising. Now this is an example how to write in four lines, children. You have to write neatly and properly in a line. Touch the line while you are writing. Okay. Now all these spellings are in cursive letter children once again i am going to read it for you number one climbers number two creepers number three branches number four udi number five shrubs number six support number seven upright number eight kitchen number nine different number ten minerals number eleven shapes number twelve coconut number thirteen erect number fourteen rising now let's learn and practice some question answers of types of plants now question number one what are the things required by the plants to make food question mark again i will repeat what are the things required by the plants to make food answer is plants need air comma water and sunlight to make food full stop i will repeat the answer again plants need air water and sunlight to make food now let's learn question number two okay question number two is name the different parts of plants full stop again i will repeat the question name the different parts of plants full stop now you will think why full stop is there it is a question why they are putting full stop because in question if name define write if it comes then you have to write or then you have to insert full stop 
not to insert question mark what where how when this will come then you have to insert question mark okay now let's learn the answer the different parts of plants are leaf comma fruits comma stem comma flowers and roots i will repeat the answer the different parts of plants are leaf fruits stem flowers and roots okay now children this is an example of how to write question answer neatly and properly in a line okay uh, remember that whenever you are going to write the starting letter should be in capital and after each and every word you have to leave a gap means you have to leave a space and don't forget to touch the line and write neatly slowly and properly then only your handwriting will look so good right and say the spelling and write neatly and properly okay children i know you will definitely love to learn all these spellings and these two question answers very well and uh, definitely you will never forget to write in cursive letter and you will practice very well because you are excellent right you all are excellent and i know you will definitely love and enjoy to learn and uh, keep practicing and keep learning enjoy yourself that's it for today children see you soon in the next video take care